So you've seen me drop order by just in my queries without really talking about it. I kind of did that in hopes that ordering data is, is intuitive. If it's integers, then 1 is less than 2, less than 3, less than 4. And if it's uh, a string, then it's just uh, alphabetical order, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, but there's some other interesting things to do with ordering. This has a lot to do with SQL, but it also applies in link. It doesn't matter which, if you learn it in link or SQL. Um, the results are the same, so let's just go for it. Var result gets db dot customers. Oh, let me do from c in db dot customers uh, order by c. Whoopsie, c dot, and then you can choose anything you want to order it by here. Okay, now, well it probably makes sense to order by the contact names, and then select c. So then uh, for each uh, var c in result cw c dot contact name. So this this uh, will return all the contact names of the customers in alphabetical order, which is nice. Okay. Um, now, if I want to go descending, then I have to drop a descending out here. And descending means, if you think of it as like stairs, you ascend upstairs and you descend downstairs. And when you say descending, you're saying, hey, start at the the latter end, I guess, in this case of the alphabet, Z, Y, V, S, and so forth. Okay, You can order by more than one thing, so it's kind of nice to group these uh, by first there. Let's, let's go country, and then contact name. Notice I... I didn't say descending on country, so when we run this, actually we gotta we gotta print the country as well to show what's going on here. So I'm gonna say c dot oops c dot country plus the contact name is gonna be formatted a little weird, but we'll roll with that. So so now when I say country there, notice the countries the, the countries still go U K U S so U S A is greater than UK and Venezuela is greater than USA so the very first country here is Argentina because Argentina starts with A but then you'll notice the the uh, contact names are in reverse alphabetical order because we said descending descending right here so within the country okay this is kind of a key point to understand that first we get all the countries together and then within that country we order by the contact names Right, so these three are still Argentinian, Tinians, that's the proper name for it, but they're ordered within the Argentina, so so that's kind of interesting. All the Brazil, well, these are Brazilians, and still we're, looks like we're descending order here. I could do country descending. I, say, I can't, I wonder if I can say, I can't remember if I, oh, I can say, I can be explicit and say ascending, but ascending is assumed, so I, I don't think I'd ever type it, but I could say descending here, and and then the countries will be descending, and also the contact names within each country group will be descending. So if I scroll to the top here, now Venezuela is at the top, and then everybody here, this is still descending, like uh, M, F, C, you see how it's descending, M is greater than F, greater than C as far as the uh, dictionary is concerned. I take descending off, and now the contact names will be ascending, but the countries will still be descending. So let's go back to uh, Venezuela there. And now it goes CFM. All right, so I actually want to translate this query into what the compiler does. Actually, I'm going to keep that there for good measure. Just so you can see, it's, it's kind of interesting how the compiler resolves the, the order bias here. So let's call this result to... And then again, as always, the compiler just reads the variable name and the source there. So let's state the source db.customers. And then uh, actually, I want to bring the dot down with the order by. Let's bring this up so you can see it. Okay, capital O, capital B, parenthesis, variable name, arrow, C, country. But since there's a test sending out here, uh, instead of just uppercasing these, actually, the compiler throws descending on the end of this. Okay, so C country, and then the comma, so something interesting happens with that comma, because we first want to order by country, and then we want to order by contact name. We don't want to order by country, and then screw up all the countries and order by the contact names. We need to maintain the order of the countries while 
ordering the contact names. Okay, so if I hover over order by descending, it actually returns an I ordered enumerable instead of just an I enumerable. And basically the difference between an I ordered enumerable and an I uh, enumerable is that I ordered enumerables uh, need to maintain the state or the stability of the previous uh, ordering. Okay, that's called a stable sort in computational theory or uh, a computational theory, algorithms, data structures, is, that's a place you'll see that. But basically, it needs to maintain stability. We don't want to screw up the countries while we're ordering by the contact name. So, in order to do the contact name, the compiler uh, drops a, for that in, in place of that comma that I just deleted. It does a then by, okay? And uh, then we uh, drop the variable name there, arrow and parenthesis. And then... The select here is degenerate. Notice we're not doing anything special there. We're just returning the same value as the argument, so the compiler will remove that extra piece of fluff. And then let's go here and uh, go through var c and result 2. I'm actually going to drop the then by down to a new line and indent this just a little bit. Okay. So let me let me run this for you. So control F5. And we see here... Uh, the countries, yep, the countries maintained order, and the countries, it looks like the countries are descending because A is last, then B, and then within those, we maintain the contact names, the order of the contact names within the countries, just like we saw earlier, okay? Now, if we actually did a, let's just do a regular order by here, okay? If you notice, order by is argument, well, let's go back, then by, it's going to take a, then, if I, well, I'm going to hit F12 on then my, so we can just go look at the metadata. Nice and big. I'm doing control shift comma there to kind of zoom out. But if you look at the then by, it takes an I ordered enumerable, so that's going to consider or maintain that stability of the previous ordering. And then it also returns an I ordered enumerable, so I could uh, do another dot then by and then by and then by and order by all sorts of different things. But if I replace the then by with a um, order by, well, order by is not a then by. Order by assumes that no ordering has previously been done. So when I run this, control F5, notice the, um, the contact names are in order. Okay, A, Anna, all the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, nice, but all the, uh, the countries are out of order. The order by didn't consider the stability of the sort. So, anyway, that's, uh, order by in the way it's translated. Descending, ascendings. Um, also note that order by, there's no order by ascending. Uh, ascending is assumed, so I wouldn't go and type ascending in here, even though you could. I, I think that's just more stuff to look at and process and take up brainwaves.